Introducing his opponent from Pico Rivera, California, weighing in at 155 pounds. He is the Gravity Renegade, Lucas Riley. Oh, this is the way we start, Mr. Birdman. Let me tell you what, this is exactly how Up All Light likes to start. Hot, quick, fast action and we are about to see that with Mr. Lucas Riley and the DKC in the ring. Oh yeah, I've been watching all first 11 up all nights and I gotta say, there is no better possible way to kick off the action than with the high flying Lucas Riley and the chop master himself DKC. I expect to see a lot of quick maneuvers, I expect to see a lot of fast paced action. I can't wait to get started. This well, is going to be a great you match. You ain't going to get your money back if you try to return it because you are going to see all those things. You are going to you are buying in for all that action right now. Well, it's a good thing I didn't save the receipt. This is going to be awesome. First round match of the tournament. Let's see who can kick this off on a good foot. Hey, eh, Halston. Do you have any bets? Do you have any money on this? Boy, if I had to put if I had to put my bird brain to it, I'd have to say Lucas definitely has the most momentum coming into this. But if we're being honest, DKC, he's just. He's got those strikes that can really that can really put him over the edge. So I no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a prediction right off the bat. Let's we're gonna have to wait and see what happens in the ring itself. And there we go, ref calls for the bell, and we are underway here at Up All Night 12, the Survive the Night tournament. DKC extending his hand. Perhaps what? we're Listen, gonna see. Wait, what? DKC showing so wait a minute. Hold oh, up. There oh. we go. If oh, DKC quick roll up the cover one. If you know DKC like I know DKC, hold on. Lucas Riley, oh. DKC ducks the Inziguri. O'Connor roll back, Lucas Riley rolls through, Lucas Riley charges up to the second rope. Oh. Backflips over him, DKC with a good duck. Lucas Riley, leg sweep, cover, one. Only a one count there. See what I'm saying? Oh. Fast and furious, hot the action, this kick. is what it's about. Lucas Riley slaps his feet away, off the ropes. DKC ducks the driving clothesline. Big hip toss from Lucas Riley. And DKC avoids the running. Ooh. And there it is, DKC. Lucas able to get out of the way of the moonsault. We are at a standstill. What a great start, Halston. Right? This is what I'm saying. Welcome welcome to the party, Thank Mr. You. Birdman, because I'm telling Thank you what. You. This is what I expect of these two, and I'm getting it in spades. Yep. The two exchanging strikes, double boots to the gut. Ooh. Lucas ducks the Gets caught in the ropes. Oh, oh DKC, huge drop kick right to the gut of Lucas Riley. Now DKC off the ropes. Oh! Huge knuckles right to the forehead, and just like that, DKC is taking control. There's a cover. One, two. Lucas gets the left shoulder up, it looks like. Oh, and DKC right, right into a submission, right into that rear naked choke, it looks like. Grabbing the fingers of Lucas Riley. There he is. Now, now see, he's going. If you see Halston as he, as he grabs to try and get leverage on that arm, if he can separate that arm from the shoulder, it's going to be over. That's the one thing I know about DKC. Listen, when you're a karate master like he is, yeah, there's some tricks up your sleeve, and one of those things is called submission moves. Mm -hmm. And you can't just rely on chops. Oh, kick out by Lucas. 
Got out of that stretch muffle submission. Oh, and DKC ooh, right ooh, back ooh, on ooh. the attack. Right in the ribs. He's vicious. He's just he's a vicious striker. He's gonna take every opening that he can get. That is that is the subtleties of a DKC. He is seems so aggressive and so so like ambitious with his karate style, but when he gets in that ring, sometimes you get that you pull it out of him and he becomes that oh, vicious. Cover one, two, oh Lucas again able to get the shoulder up. And see, even if he knew he wasn't necessarily gonna win the match right then and there, just by kicking out, Lucas is expending energy with every single one. All DKC has to do is wear him down, wear him down, keep kicking him in the corner, go see, now he's trying to go right back to that stress muffler position. Oh, there's a crucifix pin too. That's the one thing about uh, Lucas Riley. As long as you keep him grounded, you are at least 50% of the way there because yep. that guy is an aerial, aerial assaultist. If that's right. even a word. It's, I'm making it up no, right now. Sure. I, I'm it, writing it down. Hold it's on. great. Assault. It's a word now. And you're right, Halston. Thus far, DKC doing a great job keeping Lucas down with the crowd. The crowd clearly firmly behind Lucas Riley. who's trying to get to his feet. The one thing, perhaps the two things that DKC is Our missing chance. right now Ooh. are a Cameron Ooh. Gates and a Slice Boogie Indeed. to possibly help him as part of the uh, the partners in crime. Ooh, great backflip out by Lucas. Oh, oh and DKC with a huge kick right to the head. The cover, two. Again, Lucas able to kick out. That looked brutal. I almost saw one of those eyeballs just pop right out of his head. Oh, boy. And DKC... So you can't get frustrated now. If he gets frustrated, that's where people make mistakes. Could cost him the entire tournament. That is what I've been saying every single up all night. I'm oh. glad you took your notes and paid attention. Yeah, Lucas Riley kicks up. Huge Insiguri catches DKC on the top. This is what I'm talking about. DKC took his time, gave Lucas Riley a chance to recover. Another stiff forearm from Lucas Riley. He's now going to climb up to the top and meet him right up there. Oh, hard shots. Up on the top. That's a place Lucas Riley likes to be. That's right. Not necessarily the type of movie he's interested in doing, but... Oh. Now DKC able to strike back, preventing the 10 strikes from the top. <laughs> Slides through. Oh, DKC's got him. He's got him hooked. Lucas able to strike back again. Oh. Once again, DKC gets out of the way before that 10th strike, but is the damage already done? DKC avoids a potential disaster right there. Oh! Hard hits the by Lucas Riley. DKC is reeling. I believe I have some ibuprofen in Second my bag. Rope. Oh! oh! Good God. Crashes and burns off the missed cross body. Now DKC lifting him up. Oh! Huge cut buster right to the ribs. Oh, that didn't that'll take the, That'll take the wind right out of you. Yup. Right out of you. Oh, boy. Oh, DKC. there's that karate. Oh! Oh! Lucas, great arm drag cover to avoid any more damage to that midsection. Almost out of desperation, trying to get out of the way, trying to save himself. Yep. Another shot to the ribs for DKC. Oh, here we go. We see in the karate chop. DKC. Oh! There it is! <laughs> you know, I often... Oh, here's here the cover. Go. One, two... I often, oh! I often applaud someone like Lucas Riley for being innovative, but when I see some innovation tapped into some karate chops, I'm all about it. I'm here for that. Yeah, Lucas Riley able to kick out of the devastating karate chop. I mean, DKC just took his best shot. It didn't work. He's He's got to stay on him. This crowd is. is still hot for Lucas Riley. They know, they know DKC is problematic, but that's okay. He's still taking him to task. Yep. Oh, now just some disrespectful slaps to the back of the head. That's just, just utter disrespect. Oh! <laughs> Huge slap to the face by Lucas Riley. He's not taking any of it. Ducks two to the chest, to the face. Huge knee. Taking him. Ducks oh. one. Oh! And there's <laughs> DKC. Back. Huge forearm. German suplex. He flips out. Running knee strike by Lucas Riley. Picks him up by his hair. It's the thing with Lucas, you cannot blink sometimes, and I think DKC blinked a couple times right then and there. Winds him up. Oh, oh my God. Hooks him up. Oh! <laughs> Ripcord Impact DDT, the cover. Two, three, that's it. <laughs> Lucas Riley is going on to the semifinals. Wow. Here is your winner. And moving on to the semifinals, Lucas. Riley! Wow. Riley, all you had to do was blink, and there it was. Lucas Riley taking 
DKC down in the first round here. I am, I mean, I, I'm going to call favorites because that's what my job here is to make sure, sure that I have vision on this. And the vision is very clear for me. I like this Lucas Riley. I do too. That was one hell of an opening contest. Lucas Riley with a definitive first round win. He's moving on. And we're moving on to the next match that is in right. the first round. I'm this, excited. This tournament is hot, and we're going to keep it hot right here in the ring. Let's get right to the action. The following is a first round match in the Survive the Night tournament scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Scranton, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 192 pounds, all that, Kita Murray! And his opponent from Beverly Hills, California, weighing in at 255 pounds, Ray Romero Jr. Well, I gotta say, Halston, Ray Romero Jr., big guy, mean streak, bad attitude, but he's got size, he's got a beef with practically everyone here at Santino Brothers. And we've got this wonderful newcomer, Keita Murray. I've heard awesome things about him. I'm excited to see this matchup. Uh, let me tell you what, Ray Romero Jr. He is no nonsense. He's not here to play around. He has been through up all night. He is. He knows that. He knows the scoop. He knows what's going on. This is likely a clear advantage for uh, Mr. Uh, Ray Romero. Yeah, I would have just on a size advantage alone. I mean, he has. He's almost over a hundred pounds on him. So that's gonna. We're gonna see if that plays a factor in this match. There's the bell. Our second he tournament match of the night is underway. Oh, the crowd immediately getting on the side of Keita Murray. I'm loving that, and I'm digging the moves right away in the ring. And that can't sit well with Ray Romero Jr., who is essentially a hometown guy. Keita Murray coming all the way, making his first appearance here at Santino Brothers. Here we go. Strong lockup for both of them. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Ray just yes. shoving them off. Showing them who's boss. Who's the boss of that ring right now? Uh, just, wow, crowd is not oh. having any of Ray right now. Yeah, just bad mouth the crowd. Not playing, not playing right now. All right, let's see if we actually get some wrestling underway. Hey. Here we go. I know these two. I have a feeling we will. Get it on. Here we go, strong lock up. Oh, and Keita trying to push it back with Ray. Getting the power advantage. Keita switch right, drives him into the corner. He's got until a five count to break that. Ooh. <laughs> a little sportsmanship Ooh. from Murray. I think that was a little bit more of an attitude chop. I love it. Uh, Come on now. Keita grabs the headlock. Ray drives him right back to the ropes. Get out of that headlock. Shoots him off. Keita <laughs> went for the shoulder tackle, but Ray just too much of a beefhead. Shoves him off. Birdman, have you uh, ever just walked and ran into a wall? I Not by choice, Halston. Well, I've never done that. You no. just watched somebody do that right there in front of your eyes. Wow. There we go, right back to the headlock is Ray Romero Jr. Keita using all of his force to drive him back to the ropes to break that headlock. Quick bypass Keita with a leap oh, run. Oh, oh, oh. Ray, oh. nice roll through there. Bypass Keita, able to flip through out of that hip toss and now <laughs> Keita with a little show yes. bump of his own. Look at that, ducks the clothesline, pushes Ray to the ropes, who hangs on, wanting none of Keita. A little dancing, a little romance, a little play, wait, what? Keita Ray. survives. Yep. Oop, blocks that right hand. Oh! <laughs> Ray Romero Jr. with a stiff right knocks Keita down to the apron. I do believe uh, he Ray Romero just gave him all that. Oh. Yeah, we Thank see you, it, Ray. I, we see it. I love a gift from a, a good friend. I don't know. <laughs> He's giving me gifts. I'm living for it. 
He's about to give Keita Murray the gift of a good ass kicking. Well, that that I can't disagree with. Well, there we go. Keita flips back in over the top rope. Right. Goes for the close-up red. Keita. Oh, <laughs> huge sit-out jawbreaker. Oh, and the double feet right to the jaw. And just like that, Keita has claimed the advantage early. Here's a cover. A two count. Ooh. Oh, Ray able to get the shoulder up. You know, I think if Keita had been just a hair quicker on that cover, he might have been able to get closer to the three count. Very possible, but he's also a what I like to call a lumberjack. It doesn't take one axe swing to fall that tree. you got to hit it a few times, and he's hit it a couple times, but he's got to... Oh, oh wow. what was Ray that? Ray pushing the ref into the corner. What is that? Huge spine buster by Ray Romero Jr. There's a cover. Two. Keita able to get his left shoulder up. It's so one thing I've noticed about all the uh, the uh, all, up all night competitors throughout the entire year is that frustration cannot overcome because that is the quickest way for you to lose your cool in that ring. And I'm not talking about guy cool. We're just talking about no. keeping your keeping it together so you can make sure you get that win. And in tournament style, you got to make sure that you keep it together. That's right. And it looks like right now Ray Romero Jr. is keeping a clear advantage over Keita Murray. Just rubbing him on the ropes, just absolute disrespect. Oh, but Kita with a quick gut shot and a straight right, right oh. to the jaw, and a second one. Here's Kita off the ropes. Ray catches him. Oh. Huge oh. sidewalk oh. slam by Ray Romero. One, two. Kick out at two. Two more of those Kita could be done for. The you're gonna, you're gonna give it two? You're gonna give it two? I think All it could right. be two more just, I mean, the clear power advantage that Ray Romero Jr. is showing. I mean, the crowd clearly behind Keita, but just I, now he's grinding him down. But that's gonna get into the head of Ray Romero Jr. You called him a hometown boy earlier. He is actually from Beverly Hills. I mean, he's here. He is a Santino Brothers prodigy, and that's gotta get, that's gotta be frustrating for here. Walk in, Keita Murray just walks in, and the crowd is clearly immediately on Keita's side, chanting his name, chanting his all that. I mean, that's gotta be in his head at this point. Oh, of course, it's absolutely in his head, and we can see him exercising that right now as he's got Keita in a seriously stiff headlock on the mat. Keita waving his fingers, saying no. Gave him too much time. That's Not right, holding taunting. it tight enough. He's got he's got oxygen to get into those lungs. Trying to muster some kind of offense right now. Keita Marie making his way back to one knee. Hard gut shot. Now he's back to his feet. Oh, oh but he gets caught oh, by wait Ray. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. Skins the cat, slides down. Two count. Ray able to slide out. And Keita Marie, awesome transition right into a single leg crab. Keita's got the single leg crab now trying to sit down and he does, applies even more pressure. All it more takes pressure is that right leg. All it takes is one limb. You don't need to you don't need to dock out all four. Oh. You just gotta take out one. Huge single leg crab on those tree trunk like legs. Ray trying to make it to the ropes. He's crawling. Oh! And that is gonna force a break right there. That's the most offense we've seen from Keita this whole match. And a quick break there, and we're back to square one practically. Oh, oh right another, in the bread basket. Another huge boot. Ray ducks the clothesline. Oh, he's got him up in the fireman's carry. Keto with some stiff elbows. Gets him down. Just raining down elbows to the head and the neck. Look at him go. Look at him just beat down on Ray Romero Jr. Sets him up. Oh! Finding the fire within. That is what Keita Murray has given us. He is trying to get that, Ray's that, on wobbly that legs. oxygen in his lungs. Get Keita that. set up. Oh! What a huge super kick from Ray Romero Jr. <laughs> right back to Keita Murray. He's on Dream Street. And a super kick from Keita. Answers him once again. Kick for kick. Woo. There we go again. That was so intense it took him off his feet. Keita now staggered back, oh. and a fifth kick right to the chin. Keita now measuring his man. Goes for the crossbody, gets caught. Oh. Mishinoku driver! <laughs> but not Huge a, Mishinoku! Not enough energy in the tank right now for him. He might have busted his tailbone landing on that one. He's feeling it. Oh. I don't know why Ray didn't go right for the cover there. I mean, you, you mentioned his... his his tailbone just clearly shattered on that, but that was his, that was his best shot to win this thing. And now Keita's able to get back to his feet. Oh, Another one more super time. kick with feeling. Here yeah. we go. He's got him hooked up. There it is. Oh, Key to your heart. He's Key to your heart. Keita now exposing the knee pads. Sets up in the corner. Goes for the running knee. He got all of it. Keita Murray. The cover. Two. 
What an upset oh. that could have been right then and there. Keenan Murray just coming out of nowhere. Here we go. Is he going to be able to recover? Is he going to be able to keep up this momentum? This is the most offense that Keenan's been able to get. Oh, he's got to stay on him right now. He just hit two huge moves. Keenan with a kick to the gut. Oh. Calling for it. Ray able to slip out. Kick to a gut of his own, and now Ray oh, no. sets him up. Wait a minute. Keenan slips out. Kick to the jaw. Now Keita set him up. Butterflies the arms. What can we see here? Pedigree? What is he trying to do? Oh, but Ray. Oh! <laughs> Rake to the eyes. Disrespect. Sets him up. Huge power bomb. The two. The that three counts. It. Here is your winner. Moving on to the semifinal round. Ray Romero Jr. The hometown favorite once again comes through Ray Romero Jr. Much to the chagrin of this audience, much to the hatred of the folks at home. Ray Romero Jr. moving forward towards the finals. Who is he gonna face? We won't know just yet. However, taking his victory lap right now. Yeah, Ray Romero Jr. Honestly, a definitive, a definitive first round victory. Hard hitting offense, but I gotta give credit where credit is due. Keita Murray. What a strong, awesome showing. I gotta I gotta give it up to him. I hope we see him back here in Santino Brothers. Absolutely. The pink champagne is on ice. This yeah. tournament is so nice. And where did you get Ah uh, yes, yeah, speaking of pink champagne, your boy Birdman decided he wanted to be a part of this drink party. So uh, once again, I have got to find out why I have no, left off the emails. Who all right, let's well, okay, fine. Well, cheers to in, that. Cheers to and that. Cheers to the third match of the first round. I am ready for it. Is everybody at home ready for it? Because I am living for it. Let's keep this tournament hot. Let's keep it lit. And let's get this action going. The following is a first round match in the Survive the Night tournament scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Santino, California. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the head ass kicker in charge of Santino Brothers, Robbie Phoenix. And his opponent from Long Beach, California. Weighing in at 175 pounds, he is the party captain, Guy Cool. Well, now the party has started. I am ready for some more Guy Cool action. I am going to make the booty go clap. And one of these days, I'm telling you what, Birdman, I, if you can get me on the boat, let me know if you know any inside information on how to get God, cool, get me on the boat, my brother. I'm here for you, darling. Well, I gotta be completely honest, Halston. I am brand new to the Southern California scene, so I, I am still making my list of contacts, and I would love also to have Guy Cool put me on his list of places to go and people that he knows, because let me tell you, Birdman can party. And these guys are about to party in our third round, our third first round match, excuse me, of the evening. You better not hear Guy Cool that if he knows you knew how to party, he's gonna want to drink you under some sort of table or the ring. Oh boy, there's the bell. We are underway. Ooh. First round match. This here. is gonna be a spicy match. Oh, real? Oh, yeah, there we go. Good sportsmanship from the head ass kicker in charge. Let me tell you what, Guy Cool, student of the Santino Brothers School and Robbie Ooh, Phoenix. Quick roll up covered. Two this count. Guy rolls through. Now Robbie goes to the clothesline. Guy, he's got him hooked up. Here we go. Quick spell package. One, two. Robbie is uh, out. Robbie is definitely no nonsense. He is an, I mean, head trick cover. One, head ass two. Kicker here at Santino Brothers. One. Another cover. Oh. Two count. Another cover. These covers are lightning quick. I can't even. I can't even call them all. Justin. Making the ref earn his money tonight. And see, that's the type of com that's the type of uh, sportsmanship and competition that Robbie Phoenix likes. I mean, when it gets dirty and down, he'll get there. But oh, right yeah. now, if you're just playing it clean, he's in all the way. No, it's great. Robbie Phoenix, I've watched hours and hours of his. He's a legend from coast to coast. He can scrap with you. He can wrestle with you. He can fight you. The point is, he can match whatever energy you bring to that match, pound for pound, strike for strike. 
And now he's got Guy Cool in a tight headlock. But can he make the booty go clap? That's really what matters. Well, if that's what Guy Cool does to win the match, then it won't matter. Robbie. Oh, Robbie feeling it. A little showboat in action. Robbie hits the ropes. Guy Cool. Huge deep arm drag by Guy Cool. Great technique in that arm drag. You see the way he just gets right out of the way, throws him halfway across the ring. Guy Cool. Springboard. Oh. Now a nice lucha drag right there. Oh. Guy Cool with a little showboat of his right. own. Teaching the teacher himself. Whoa. Step up. Hurricanrana. Robbie dizzy early. Guy with the advantage goes for the cover. Oh. oh Robbie move. Phoenix. Ring awareness from the teacher. Yep. We know. Ever the veteran, Robbie Phoenix rolls out of the ring. Going to take a quick breather. Yeah, give him some white champagne. Really yeah. champagne? I don't know. <laughs> Do want, does he want birdseed? No, I don't, I don't think so. A little so. dizzy. No, Robbie just needs to take a quick breather. Guy now, he's able to get a breath as well after those lightning quick opening pins. But see, Robbie's being smart. Again, if you gotta, if you got to get that, that those lungs filled back up, if you have to make sure that all your... Uh, all your uh, Wheels are in motion. You got to take that time out. Get That's, out of there. It's a good point. It's a good point, Halston. Now Robbie gets back in, but he's he's clearly favoring that head. I'm not sure if he if he hit it on one of those pins or what. But now we've we've reset, reset. Here we go. Robbie, perhaps going for a test of straight, but Guy Cool catches his hand, and now Guy Cool catches the other hand. <laughs> oh, with that oh. jim jab, chatter. Guy Cool. Now off the top rope. <laughs> Oh, and Robbie <laughs> Phoenix catches him in a Fujiwara armbar. Oh. Could this be it early? The Santino Brothers submission champion knows exactly what he's doing with it. Oh, he's got a counter for everything. Robbie's got that arm wrench back. Guy Cool, he's, he's a long way from the ropes. Can we see a tap out nice and early? You know, Robbie's not paid by the hour, and he right. wants to conserve his energy for a potential semifinal, potential Robbie. final match. It behooves him to end this early. Oh, but Guy Cool, smart, rolls through. Oh. Robbie does not like to play games. He is not there to fool around. Especially when you start to cross him and give him give him the business. He is not playing. Well, but it, it seems like Robbie has indeed shifted gears as like you alluded to earlier, Halston. Now just taking his time. Huge shot to the gut. Shot to the chin of Guy Cool. This is where Robbie's at his best when he's taking his time. Nice snap mare out of the corner. Robbie Phoenix now. Ooh. Oh, beautiful diving close at the cover. Two count. Guy Cool is able to get that shoulder up. Robbie Phoenix, just so crisp in all of his moves. And now, look at that, just a tight headlock, Guy, wearing him down. Guy Cool is kind of wobbly. He's not sure where he's at, if he's on his boat or if he's in Santino Brothers right now, but Robbie's in control, showing him who's the boss. Guy Cool, if he can't get up and out of this, I mean, Robbie Phoenix, he's got the arm strength, he's got the technique, he could just wear him down right here, you could choke him out. You can win by TKO or knockout, in theory. Oh, but Guy Cool has been able to get back to his feet nope, now. here we go. Gets out of the way, hits the ropes. Robbie Phoenix with a huge <laughs> pump boot right to the face. Close to the cover. One, two. Whoa. Just a two count for Robbie Phoenix off a beautiful boot right to the mush. That's sometimes a mistake, and I don't want to call Robbie out on that too no. hard. But sometimes you can't plead too long. You got to get right back in there and keep working him. That's right. Well, he's working him right now. Robbie with a waist lock. Waist lock go behind by Guy Cool now. Robbie stiff elbows to the head. Waist lock go behind by Robbie Phoenix. Looking for that half and half suplex. And now Guy Cool looking for a half and half suplex. Oh! Robbie back out of the waist lock. Here we go. Robbie, huge whip off into the corner. Guy Cool is looking to go up and over. Robbie had a scouter. There it is. Huge. Saito half and half suplex. Robbie that, Phoenix. That is what we like to call two Shoots steps the half. Ahead. One, two. Kick out by Guy Cool there off the half and half suplex. And Robbie, now Robbie's got to stay on him. He could be getting a little frustrated. He is, you can tell. He's trying to get through this match. He's trying to get to the head of this tournament. And if he can't do it quickly, it's, it becomes a war rather than a quick battle. Yep. You got to save yourself for at least the next two matches. But it's you're not going to get there if you don't win. Take it from me, it's easier to get through a quick skirmish and a quick scrap than it is a long war and battle. I, I will take your word for it, Halston. Now, Robbie Phoenix. Good, that'll be $5. Arm. Okay. Shoots him off. Guy Cool, Whoa. nice backflip to escape. Robbie Phoenix, Guy Cool catches the boot now. Spins him around and Guy Cool with a huge leg lariat. Landed a bullseye right in the middle of his chest. Oh, I felt that. Good huge God. Huge leg lariat. Imprints him now, Guy Cool. Charged at him, but Robbie Phoenix with a stiff elbow right to the jaw. Stops his momentum. And now a boot right to the face. Right, he didn't have enough. He was like a cat. You throw him against the wall, he comes back for more. Look Robbie out, Phoenix here we go. Robbie Phoenix went the clothesline. And Guy Cool with a huge belly to back <laughs> suplex. Just plants him right in the mat of cover. One, two. And 
Robbie what? Phoenix able to get the shoulder. That was, Guy Cool was a second away from moving on to the semifinals. What would that do for the parties, Halston? If, Listen, if he wins this, what does that do for his parties? The parties are going to get better, and I guarantee I'm going to bring an extra case of champagne to that party. It, to say you're partying with a champ, that's huge. <laughs> but he's not going to be a champ if Robbie keeps getting those huge knees up. And now a stiff right hand get, get, right to the face. Listen, get to know me, darling. I'm the president of excellence. I've already managed a champion. And I don't, oh, I don't want to say his name. Buster too. I don't want to say his name because it'll make me vomit. But you know who I'm talking about. Yes. Of course. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Also, uh, just the action in the ring, moving at a breakneck pace. I'm with it. Guy Listen. Cool with that huge sit-out spinebuster caught him off the rope. Still not enough. Dragging him by his oh, hand. Oh, now he's talking to him. Oh, here we go. Huge right hand. Oh! Another right hand. Guy Cool taunted him. Robbie Whoa. Phoenix. <laughs> huge side oh, rushing oh, leg sweep oh, off the second rope. That, Both men are down. That's what I like to call exquisite. That was a beautiful counter and cover by Robbie. I cannot believe I saw that. Holy smokes. Wow. There we go. Oh, quick cover. Guy Cool is able to get the shoulder. I'm sorry, it was not a quick cover not at all, really. Not enough. Not enough. Slow into it now. Robbie Phoenix feeling the advantage back to his feet, grabs the head of Guy Cool. Runs his head gotta, right into the corner. Got to keep wearing him down. It's not over until one until the referee sings. Is that what we're going to say? Yeah, well, Let's if, just if say If by sings you mean counts to three, then absolutely. I've never heard referee as a case sing, and I almost don't want to. Don't invite him to a karaoke party. I certainly will not, but oh, Robbie oh. Phoenix not inviting Guy Cool to his party either. A quick out of the ring, and Guy <laughs> Cool, huge oh. super kick over the ropes, oh. right to his face, and now Guy Cool. Drops the dime with the Swanton Bomb. The two count. Three. Here it is. What? Here is your winner. Moving on to the semifinals. Guy Cool. Wow. That was a cool finish. Not for Robbie Phoenix, unfortunately. No, not at all. Guy Cool with two explosive moves at the end there. That awesome. Reverse super kick over the ropes, catching him, and then that beautiful party crashing swanton bum for a clean three count. Halston, I am I'm thoroughly impressed. I am thoroughly impressed, impressed. and I am excited because this increases my chances of getting on the guy, guy cool party boat, and that's really what it's about for me. But for guy cool, it is glory. It is championship possibilities. It is. In the eyes of everyone watching, a possibility to... I mean, he's been to many up all nights. That was a strong showing against somebody yep. like Robbie Phoenix. Oh, My absolutely. God. Absolutely. Beat the head ass kicker. Keeps the party going to the semifinals. We're going to keep the party going to the final first round match of this tournament. I'm very excited. Let's get it on. Let's get this party happening. Let's keep going on Santino Brothers up all night. The following is the final first round match scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Glendora, California. Weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the handsome one, Alec Tomas. And introducing his opponent from Spook City, USA. Weighing in at 150 pounds, the punk rock luchador, RJ Sick Boy Santos. Paulson, I've been watching all the Up All Nights. RJ Sick Boy Santos, he has earned that name. The man is sick. The man is sick, Paulson. He is sick for victories. He is sick for doing amazing things in that ring. And let me tell you what, Alec Tomas, yes, Tomas, better be careful. I don't care how handsome you are. I don't care how good you think you look. You ain't gonna look good, that good against RJ Sick Boy Santos, no, because that boy is on fire. That's right, you can, have, you can have a chiseled jaw, but if you get kicked in the jaw and it's shattered, it doesn't matter. Right, it doesn't matter. You can, you're, gonna, you're gonna shattered like the mirror that you're gonna be looking into. Oof. 
brutal. Brutal to think about. What also could be absolutely just as brutal as this match. Starts out strong. <laughs> Alec going for the boot, misses wildly. RJ, quick arm drag right there. And now Alec answers back with an arm drag of his own. RJ going for a clothesline, blocks it. Ducks one of Tomas's, and now Tomas. <laughs> Going for the headlock, and it looks like RJ able to duck like right behind. Barroom scrap right there. I'm loving it. Getting brutal right away. Alex Tomas knowing that he might have to use his power in the uh, the high flying range that uh, RJ Sick Boys has yeah, he's in his, definitely gonna in his to, arsenal. Oh, he's definitely going to need to ground him, Halston. And right now, just talking trash. Tomas clearly not happy that the crowd is on the side of RJ and has been on his side for all of the up all night so we'll see what happens here almost like a second opponent sometimes when you've got that crowd firing shots at you as well as your opponent RJ now charges Tomas in the corner strike huge elbow hits the ropes comes after him again <laughs> huge stinger splash big oh. boot right there right to the face just Snap trying there. to tro chop this big boy down <laughs> ah, nice handspring, Senton, the cover two. Trying to make quick work of it is RJ, and let me tell you, he's done this before. He's just gonna keep coming at him. Mm -hmm. Tomas able to avoid that step up in Seguri. RJ now trying to reset, like Tomas taking a breather right in the corner, also trying to get a reset. But like we've been saying this entire night, they need to end this as soon as possible because they could have one, two more matches coming up. Oh, huge super kick right to the feet. Now he's hung up in the tree of woe. Oh! Alec Tomas with a driving boot right to the kneecap of RJ. Say no, he doesn't need that knee. He doesn't need that knee. I think he absolutely does need that knee if he wants to stand on it, if he wants to do any of his high flying. If, if, if he wants to hit his finish, if he wants to hit flight 138, he needs to be able to climb the top rope. It, right. If there is a way to clip a plane, it's to take away one of his wings, and that is the way to do it. Yep. RJ now oh, gets out of the lock transitions, going for the arm bar. Going for the arm bar. Oh, Tomas able to roll out. Oh, gets him into a cover. RJ able to, RJ able to spill out. Oh, and a huge DDT right to the injured left leg of RJ. That's, oh, that Kiss just, those tendons goodbye. You don't need that ACL. Forget about it. Oh, man, Tomas now going right back to that left leg. Oh, right. huge boot. Playing it smart, playing it to the hip or as to the thigh, as they'd say. Yeah. Let me tell you. That's the way to, that is the easiest way to get through somebody like uh, RJ is to ground him by those legs. He doesn't, he's not going to be able to do all those high flying aerial salty meals. <laughs> or you could do that. He huge super kick by Tomas. Now into the cover. One, two. RJ able to get the shoulder up again. But no, you're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, Halston. If, if Tomas can keep this methodical pace, he can keep wearing him down. Oh, oh, but RJ slips underneath and now he's going for an E bar. RJ go for a knee bar zone. He's got it. He's got it locked in. Tomas scrambling, trying to get to the bottom rope. You can't. You cannot sleep like that. And he just took oh. advantage of him in a in a in a breath. Oh, oh and he does. Tomas able to get to the rope, and RJ breaks immediately. Which I I don't know how smart that was. He did have a five count. He could have done just as much damage to Tomas's knee. And it looks. Oh, and it looks like he was able to do something as Tomas now favoring. Oh. But a huge boot right how, in the face. How he was able to get that boot up after getting that leg twisted like that. I mean, how he's he's coming back fast. Here he's, we go. He's certainly more looks. He is more than just looks, Halston now. To the second rope. Oh, went for a whisper in the wind. Gets nowhere. RJ able to escape. Runs at him. Flying clothesline. RJ back elbow. Baby, RJ sick boy Santos getting a little momentum here. Oh, isn't able to get all that insecurity, but is able to get that back heel kick. Tomas now. Oh, and RJ slipped the suplex. Tomas gets out of the way. Exchanging kicks to the legs. Looks like Tomas got the better oh, of that one. Go. Sets this him up for it. a potential, potential yep. power bomb of some kind. Oh, but RJ <laughs> counters into a huge DDT. Huge DDT. He's got to cover him. There it is. The cover. One, two. Ow. I thought he had him there. I thought I thought we were about to see RJ move on to the second Ooh, round. It can happen. Again, we've seen we've seen some the likes of Robbie Phoenix, who definitely. I already called my bookie. I want my money back. I put my money on Robbie Phoenix, and I'm sorry, guy, cool. Right. Robbie was Robbie's a solid choice, and he lost. Oh. So anything can happen. Oh, gets caught. Went for the Dragon Rana. Oh, RJ gets no. caught, and now Tomas oh. has got it hooked up. Huge oh. Styles clash. <laughs> Alec Tomas looking to move on the cover. The two count. Ow! Woo. 
Sick Boy kicks out of the styles. Clash from the handsome one. Tomas is beside himself. He's apoplectic. He can't believe it. I'm running out of synonyms. This is, but this is this is the problem that he has. He's he's giving him too much breath. He's giving him too much time and space right. to gather himself. And look, here comes RJ flying back at him, trying to trying to get some sort of offense back against Hamas. Huge chops being exchanged by both competitors. And now RJ with a flurry of chops and a huge slap right to the face. <laughs> the money maker right oh, in the look, face. He's still, he's still favoring that knee. RJ still favoring that knee. But they're using using the good knee for a huge running knee strike. He's got him down. Oh, oh, is he going to be able to cover? Uh, is he going to be able to do this? He might be. He's climbing to the rope, still favoring that knee. But if he takes too much time, Tomas oh could cover. Oh, my God, I can't even. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh Flight 138, the cover. Yeah. And RJ's moving on. Here is your winner. And moving on to the semifinal round, RJ. Sick boy, Santos. Just when you thought that his knee was down and he was down and out, RJ Sick Boy Santos busters the energy, hits flight 138. He's moving on to the semifinals. Unbelievable. That is, again, not a surprise, but at the end of the day, Alex Tomas, you thought the height, you thought the weight, you thought everything would have been a, a I mean, it was all in the hands of Alec Tomas, and he, it's like what they say, it was his match to lose. It was, he it, was lost it. it was absolutely his match to lose. Unbelievable. His, his pretty face couldn't get it done. RJ, on the other hand, his offense, his fire, his tenacity, he got it done. He's moving on. What What an amazing first round, Halston. I'm, I'm shook. Telling you what, I'm absolutely is, shook. Again, welcome to the Up All Night. Welcome Thank you. to the party. This Thank is what you. we do on Friday nights here at the Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Who? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God, it's Hyde. Oh, boy. Holy hell. Hyde is back. Why are you Hyde so, is back. Why are you so excited? I have been on Hyde's side since the very beginning. Hyde, who got injured earlier this year, was unable to compete in the tournament. Hyde making a triumphant return. Oh, my God. Look oh. at him. Well, Halston, this is amazing. Well, I am very, very glad that Hyde is able to walk. Hyde is back on his feet. Hyde is absolutely on the road to recovery. I have no credence to give to this gentleman. Have you watched? Are you sure you watched him all night? I've been watching all of them. He has gotten screwed out of every single match he's been a part of. And now he's clearly got something to say. Let's hear what Hyde has to say to this up all night crowd. Constant, constant, constant people getting in my way of trying to reach the top. Who? The foul mouth. The mind messing Kai. You know, someone that that I've that I have a ton of respect for, someone like Kodo Hero, letting someone like Kai mind wash his brain, telling him that this is good for you, that he can make he can make the dreams come true, that he can he can make you win matches, that he can bring you to the top of the wrestling world. But Kuro, you can't see it. You can't see that he's he's playing with you. He's he's using you. And even though Kai and that one Bruno Mars look alike, he called himself Bruno Mars. Yeah, they held me down. They didn't have that much time to think about what they were doing. But Kuro. 
Lamb all the time. Each step you took from turnbuckle to turnbuckle as I laid there trying to fight off Kai, trying to fight off the Bruno Mars guy. I looked at you pleading, don't do it. I could see in your eyes. I could see. I could see the struggle. You did not want to do it, but you still jumped on my knee with the chair in between my leg. The only thing that was stopping that chair from making the clank was my knee. My freaking knee, man. My knee, huh? This is what's going on right now with me, huh? This is what's going on right now. And you know what else? I've been at every single up all night. I haven't missed one. One through ten. above me, with all of you people putting in the work, Santino Tuff and putting in the work, here we are, one year later! Yeah! We made it to a year! For the one year, Ruby Reyes, the booker, that I'd like to thank, and Bateman for putting this thing together for Joey Chaos, Robbie Phoenix, Jezebel Romo. They don't have to do this for us, but they want to see what we have inside. If we are playing wrestlers or if we are actual wrestlers, here we are at the tournament for Up All Night 12. And we've had four great matches in my opinion. And we have many more matches to come tonight. Yeah! Yeah! Yep. And I know up all night means a lot to you just like it's meant to me. It's made me grow and it's made me see what I'm capable in this ring. And hey, I don't think I've even touched the potential that I have in this ring. And in this tournament, you're damn right, I'm gonna stick around to watch because I wanna see what kind of competition Santino Bros is building up. I am high and unfortunately, even though I should have been I feel in this competition, in this tournament, I'm not but the sure. bottom. Hey, what was that? Be sure. Thank you, sir. Belong here, hi. So, with the bottom of my heart, and for you, Kai and Kodo. Taking me out of this tournament in the one year of Up All Night, I say to you, and you're not even here to mention, they're not here. Not oh. 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 Exactly what I'm saying. But 
keep your eyes open for the competition that you're going to see in this tournament right now. Because you know what? You know what's going to happen? The very best is going to win. And you know what else is going to happen? Yeah. What else is going to happen is that I want to face the best. Because I want to prove that hide is forever. Hide all night. And hey, let's enjoy the rest of up all night. Let's enjoy the rest of this tournament. Coming out here proclaiming that the next year will be high tier. Emotional words, strong words. I Listen, I am a thousand percent in the belief there was conviction, there was absolute emotion coming out of a hide. However, I watched him for a year and I'm still putting money against hide. I gotta be completely honest with you, Halston. If the man that was just in the ring comes back as strong as I believe he's gonna come back, the second season of Up All Nights, the second season is going to be, it's going to be Hyde's here. I believe him. Bird, I believe every word that he says. Birdman, get to know me. I only want honesty with the people I work with. Wow. That being said, Santino Brothers Up All Night is far from over. We still have more hot tournament action happening. It is coming up right now with the semifinal round. Are you excited? I'm I'm over the get moon. Get excited, I'm would so you? excited. There we go. Let's get this party going and let's get continued on with Santino Brothers up all night. The following is a semi-final match in the Survive the Night Tournament scheduled for one ball. Making his way to the ring from Long Beach, California. Weighing in at 175 pounds, he is the party captain, Guy Cool! Oh yes, come on now, make that booty go clap! And his opponent from Pico Rivera, California, weighing in at 155 pounds, the Gravity Renegade, Lucas Riley. Let me tell you what, the party might be over for Guy Cool because Lucas Riley is in the house and he is not here to party at all. He is here to win and show everybody why he is the Gravity Renegade. Oh yeah, 100% also. We saw it in round one with his definitive win. With his definitive win over DKC. As long as he stays off his feet and keeps flying around, I, Guy Cool's gonna get his bell rung. Guy Cool. I don't know. I don't know if he's got it. He certainly, he certainly has the party. He certainly has the party energy behind him. But that being said, Guy Cool also did beat Robbie Phoenix in that first round. That is a That's huge true. momentum uh, blast for somebody like Guy Cool. Yep. Oh, oh, look at. See what I'm saying? Yep. Right off the bat, Guy Cool shotgun drop kick right off. Here like a champagne cork pop. And a huge spear. Guy Cool trying to end this early. One, two. Oh, ooh, Lucas ooh, Riley ooh. is able to get the shoulder up. I think this is what we're going to see out of both semifinal matches. Just jumping right into it now, Guy Cool. Lucas Riley is putting that. Look at his arm. He's protecting those ribs, protecting those abs. He's been beaten already. Yeah. This is something Guy Cool's got to pay attention to. This might be the way he he wiggles his way through this match and hopefully uh, takes out Lucas Riley. Yeah, no, it's a very good point, Halston. It's a good point. Lucas certainly appeared to take more damage in his match than Guy Cool did. But now, Lucas. Huge chop right there, fighting out of it. Another big chop, and a third one to the chest. That sound is Lucas off the ropes. Quesador now. Fired up. Guy Cool catches him, a huge belly to back suplex. Great counter by Guy Cool into the cover. One, two. Lucas not good for the midsection of Lucas Riley, but good for the Guy Cool attack. Oh, but that's not good at all. Guy Cool just driving his foot and out. Oh, disrespectful. Punishing. He knows. 
Guy cool now. Oh. <laughs> Handstand oh. right into the knee, into the rib cage. Halston, I don't know if you've ever had bruised ribs, but I can tell you firsthand they're brutal. It makes it hard to breathe. It makes it hard to move. And oh, God, look at this. I Guy cool now. I believe I once uh, fell off my bike when I was six years old and bruised my rib cage. I know exactly what that feels like. And Lucas feeling the effects of this of this half arm, half chancery here. Guy Cool looking to try and stretch, trying to stretch the life out of Lucas Riley. He's got, right, he's got those, like those tender abs to work hole. with. Oh, but Lucas Riley, ever the ever the ring presence with a nice jawbreaker right there to get out of it. Oh, Lucas Riley now spins through, rolls through off that snap mare, oh, clearly favoring those ribs. But a huge <laughs> kick now goes for the moonsault. That's, Sending moonsault misses. That is the one thing you got to pay attention to. Somebody like Lucas Riley, who's so innovative with his moves, that if he doesn't have, if he can't get oxygen in his lungs, if he can't bend in half the proper way, he is going to be at a clear disadvantage for the rest of the instruments if he makes it past Guy Cool. Yeah, Lucas could be losing oxygen right now. He'd be losing air. Oh, and another huge gut buster. Just not I just mean, the the immense pain. Cover here. We go. Cover here. Two count. Lucas expending a ton of energy to those ribs just to get just for that kick out Halston. Right. It's, it's clear that the damage has been done. Lucas looks like he's breathing really heavy right now. Guy looks like he's just warmed up. Let's just see if Guy Cool can continue to take advantage of those bruised ribs, of those bruised abs. Oh, oh shots like that. Guy Cool, huge open bomb strike right to the sternum. This is not nice. This is not a nice strike at all. And now whips him off. I don't know what strike is nice. I've never heard. I, I would like to. I would like to be a become a wrestler. Oh! I knew those strikes were nice. Huge, <laughs> huge DDT oh. from the top. Both men are down. That was exactly what Lucas Riley needed. That huge tornado DDT. Now Guy Cool looks like he's on Dream Street. But he cannot continue to waste time like this just resting. Yes, he's got to. He's got to get his brothers back. He's got to get back up on his feet. But this may be too much of a a, a, a break for Guy Cool to recover from. That huge DDT. Oh. Now both men back to their knees. Lucas Riley with a shot. Guy Cool answers with one of his own. And now Lucas back with a forearm. Guy with a body shot. Lucas. Shot to the arm. Huge form again and again. Lucas Riley just teeing off on Guy Cool. Goes for the step of Inziguri. He has not been able to hit that on anyone tonight. Too much of a delay. Looks out the back. Springboard. Huge knees. Oh! Lob darts him right to the bottom corner. Oh, Guy Cool made his head go clap. Oh, no. <laughs> Guy Cool could be dizzy from that hit. He, he hit really hard. He's, he was right in this corner, Halston. Now Lucas Riley calling for something huge. Charges right at him. Guy Cool pushes him off. Lucas, oh, huge front kip up. Scooches over to the back. And now rip cord goes for the clothesline. Guy Cool now, waist lock. A huge rip cord knee by Lucas Riley. And Lucas with the German suplex. Charges at him. Running knee strike Lucas into the cover. The two count. Oh, Guy Cool. Too much of a flurry of an offense there to pay attention to where he was in that ring. He could have had a clean three count there. A little too far, a little too far on that push. See, it's so important because all Guy Cool had to do was just put his foot on the rope. He barely, he barely needed to move it. Lucas has had to do these hard kickouts the entire night. Guy Cool, great ring presence. Still Huge holding reset. those ribs though. Lucas Riley still trying to, still trying to make sure he can bend and move the way he's used to doing. Still a lot of pain though. Oh. Huge uppercut right there. Lucas Riley now. Oh. And another oh huge uppercut again right to the jaw of Guy Cool. Lucas whips him off. Guy Cool reverse. Lucas off the ropes now. Oh Guy Cool oh. tilt the world backbreaker. Oh. Driving that his is knee. No good for oh. the midsection of Lucas Riley. Oh. Guy Cool calling for the perfect flex. Oh. Here we go. Hits it. Recover. Two count. Once again, oh. the ring awareness from both parties. I mean, these guys have to pay attention to where they're at. I mean, guy, cool. Once again, losing an opportunity for a possible moving on to the to the final round of the tournament just because he wasn't looking. Yep. If he had taken an extra second to drag him to the center, we might have been different. But now, oh, oh. guy, cool, huge, right off the second rope, great, impactful. great senton. Now, guy, cool, slow into the cover, hooks the leg. Lucas Riley <laughs> able to kick out. Wow. A little, little too much showboat, a little too much party time for the captain. He's got to take care of business at this point. Oh, that was a great springboard sent on by Guy Cool. 
once again working the ribs, and now Guy brings him up by his head. He's got him set up looking looking for another perfect plus press. Oh, but Lucas oh, Riley! Right. Lucas Riley right there! Get uh, out Guy of it. cool out the back door off of that small package. Oh, and another huge knee by Lucas! Throws the bandana out of the ring, and Lucas now shoots off the ropes. Oh! There it is! What? There it is! Cutting 99, the cover! Oh. That's it! Here is your winner! Moving on to the finals! Lucas Riley! Cutting 99 gets it done for Lucas Riley. But I cool, great showing. How is Lucas Riley going to last in the finals? His midsection is in pain. He is feeling the effects of two matches. He's gonna definitely have to ice those things down quickly because he doesn't have a lot of time to rest. No, that's a really good point, Halston. He's gotta take every minute he's got to just catch his breath, stretch, breathe, because Lucas Riley's moving on to the final round. Unfortunately, Guy Cool, I don't know if it's unfortunately because maybe it's a good thing for Guy Cool. He gets to go back onto the party boat and enjoy some party time making that booty clap. And unfortunately, though, he does not get the up all night tournament survive the night championship yes, at sir. all, unfortunately. Yes, sir, but it has been a fantastic night of action so far. Great first semifinal match. Guy Cool taking a little bit more time. Great sportsmanship from Guy Cool. Guy well, Cole there we have it. There yeah. we have it, Birdman. We are almost there. We are almost to the finals. One more semifinal match to go. I am beyond excited for this. I can't wait. I'm. I have to make some bets. I have to make some plans. What's it going to be? I don't know. But I'm hype, Halston. I'm, I'm hype. A, you better stay hype. The the party ain't over. The party's over for Guy Cool. But the party's still going on here at Santino Brothers up all night. The following is a semi-final match for the Survive the Night Tournament scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Beverly Hills, California. Weighing in at 255 pounds, Ray Romero Jr. And his opponent from Spook City, USA, weighing in at 150 pounds, he is the punk rock luchador, RJ Sick Boy Santos. Well, Birdman, this is going to be a spicy semifinal. I mean, the power of Ray Romero Jr., the absolute intense fire of somebody like RJ Santos. This is going to be one to watch for sure. Bell Sound, second semifinal match here at the tournament. Getting underway. You make a really good point, Halston. Huge sides dif differential here. Let me tell you what. Yeah, the crowd is already getting under the skin of Ray Romero Jr. He can't, at this close to the finals, Ray Romero Jr. has to get the maturity of a wrestler and just make sure he does not let that affect him. Well, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely This would be huge for Ray to move on to the finals. Wow, and the crowd's still all over Ray as we go into a nice lockup for Ray. <laughs> Ray not even, Ray's showing the power that he should be showing, which is, that's the thing. RJ can't just walk into this match being that confident because Ray's still got power and strength on his side. Ray Romero Jr. could easily deadlift RJ a number of times, but it's another good point to, to make is that they've both been through matches. They're both a little bit tired. They're both a little bit worn. And I'm, I'm assuming that they both watched each other's first round matches too. RJ now taking a little time. Ray still taking more time to gloat. <laughs> wow, they wow. are really getting under his skin. This is not a good place to be. Not at all. Ray. Oh, three in a row. Third time's a charm. Is that uh, RJ oh! not taking any more of that? No, sir. RJ. A slap and then a kick and then another kick right to the shoulder. RJ, <laughs> super kick, gets him right underneath the jaw. Ooh. Quick right hands right there by RJ. Sick boy Santos, ooh, shoves him out of the way. Ray able to stop himself. Oh, and RJ oh my God. jumping in Zaguri. Now RJ 
Huge right hand. Ray looks like he's staggered a little bit. This is what he's got to do. He's got to stay on him. It's like a prize fight where the prize fighter doesn't even realize how strong his opponent is until he gets hit that first time. Making face, giving us looks like he doesn't know where he's at right now. Oh, RJ with a great diving uppercut. Ray still on his feet, still on his feet after that drop kick by RJ. And now all oh, Ray pulling the ref in front of him, buying some time. <laughs> That Shut is oh my God. desperation oh my God. if oh. I ever saw one. Oh my God. Ray Romero Jr. with a chop block right to the knee of RJ. And now, oh Jesus oh. Christ. That was the break oh. he needed. That's all he needed to get rid of that pesky oh. RJ oh. sick boy Santos flying at him with those kicks. Just needed that break. Also, that's hard. That's hard to watch. That did you see the way that RJ's knee just bended when Ray Romero Jr. stomped right on? He's trying. He's not supposed to bend that way. RJ trying to fight back, but oh, <laughs> Jesus right Christ. back at it. He knows what to do. Smart man in that ring. You pay attention. As much of as much as the crowd doesn't enjoy him, he is smart. He knows how to take away that one critical uh, element, which is either a leg or an arm or whatever you're... Oh, but look. Oh, look at RJ go. picking the leg. RJ now. RJ looking for a bow and arrow. Oh, he's got the legs crossed. Oh. He's got the legs crossed. Ray Romero Jr. Within uh, inches away. Oh, uh, but he grabs the head of RJ. Look at... Oh, <laughs> oh no. If you can reach it, you can grab it and use it. Oh. RJ able to get the shoulder up. But, I mean, the damage has to be have done to the knee. Ray, oh. it's just a matter of time now for Ray Romero Jr. Oh, look at this. Look at this great single crab by Ray Romero Jr. <laughs> just sitting down in it. Oh, hey. Referee not even paying attention, getting that arm up on the rope. Oh, oh he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Oh, but RJ's got his hand on, the, on his rope, respectively. Ray Romero Jr. cannot risk losing this match by getting in the face of the referee. That is not the way to go. He's got to fight the opponent, not the referee or the crowd. That's right. And this is what happens. RJ now with a jumping great enziguri right to the jaw. Oh, he may have he may have just lost a tooth there. And now a flying forearm raising the corner. RJ with an elbow now and another elbow. Oh, a huge right hand rolling elbow. Oh, but Ray, just like that, tosses him like a child into the corner. Props him up on the second. Huge right hand. He's got to get him up on a stack of phone books. Make sure you can get even eye, eye contact with him. Here we go. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. If he lands this, this could be the end of RJ right here. Oh, absolutely. Halston, and now, and now look. Oh, but look at that. RJ, I'm going to slip out. Oh, huge power bomb on Ray Romero Jr. The cover, two count. Oh, he barely hold wow. him up. He had to do whatever he could, just use the momentum of Ray off that rope because that knee was going to give out with the weight of Ray Romero Jr. on his shoulders. Oh, that's such a good point, Halston. Oh, oh but now look at look at that, RJ. In the cross face, look out. Huge cross face submission. Is Ray Romero Jr. going to tap? This, this has got to be an upset. Oh, but look, using his long legs. Using his long legs. RJ, no, not letting go. That was smart. That was smart by RJ. Holding on. He has still five. He's frustrated, but he's got to take it. He's got to take every little bit out of Ray Romero as much as he can. Tall task in front of him to get to the finals. Now we're just entering a slugfest. A slugfest. RJ back to his feet. Huge kick right to the face of Ray Romero Jr., who is still on his knees. Super kick. Oh, but he gets caught. He gets caught, and now Ray. Oh, great transition. Twisting that. Looking knee. for an STF. Looking for Nassim, he's got it! Oh, oh, oh. oh he's right got it. in the middle of the ring, too. Nowhere for RJ to go. Is he gonna be able to crawl out of it? Oh, oh my god, look at the way look at the way his knee's bending. Look at his foot and now Ray's weight is just Is he gonna tap? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, he's reversing it. Oh, look at RJ. Look at RJ. Huge transition. Huge transition. In. Oh my god, RJ, RJ now into the brutalizer. RJ, brutalizer submission has been applied. Look at him. Look at how RJ stretching those arms. He's going to have to submit verbally. He's got both hands pretty much neutralized. Oh, but Ray Romero Jr. now. Oh, he's got him into a cover. A two count. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, RJ forced to break this, off that pin. Oh. I got to be honest. At this point, it could go either way. Both of them are taking big chips out of each other. And, I mean, it just could take one good move. And this could be it right in front of us. We're watching it. That's right. Ray gets him up for the power bomb, But RJ, oh, oh looking, wait look, a looking for a DDT now. Oh, great transition into a guillotine. Ah, 
front facing guillotine. Now RJ Santos. One submission squeeze after another. Who is going to lose? Who is going to win? RJ. Look at the face of Ray Rivera Jr. He doesn't even look like himself. He's being stretched so hard. He's turning, face turning bright red, but he's able to get to his feet, trying to get some oxygen. Oh, slips his hand underneath. Gets him up. Oh, huge brain buster by Ray Romero Jr. Can he recover enough in time to get that pin, get that squeeze, get another submission? Hold on. Uh, Here it is. Oh, thought we were going to see a cover there, but Ray Romero Jr. Oh, instead, look at that. Hooks the legs. Go for a cloverleaf. Ray Romero Jr. Oh, sits in that cloverleaf. Oh, and the weight of Ray Romero, Ray, Ray Romero Jr. just <laughs> leaning on that oh, back. That's it. Over. He taps out. Oh he taps out. Here is your winner by submission. Moving on to the final round of the Survive the Night Tournament. Ray Romero Jr. Hey, let's get some order in that ring. He is just punishing the hell out of Ray RJ Sigway. That is some aggression that is coming out of the last part of this match. Match is over. He's got to save some of that energy for the finals against Lucas Riley. Indeed. Indeed. Disrespectful. Austin. Unbelievable. But hey, we cannot knock it because that is Ray Romero Jr. And he is going on to the finals. A great showing by Ray Romero Jr. I mean, he, he had a game plan. He stuck to it. He picked the knee. He worked it down. In the end, a great cloverleaf submission. Just smart, smart wrestling by Ray Romero Jr. And hey, but take nothing away from Sick Boy. Not at all. Problem is, RJ Sick Boy Santos might not be able to walk out of here after the punishment he took on his knee. All those submission moves, all those stretches. Ooh. It was, it was brutal to watch. That one stomp on the knee right, right right in front of us was absolutely, absolutely disgusting well, to look at. Here we have it now. We have a tight final. Lucas Riley with his injured midsection, and uh, we have... Uh, <laughs> right. Ray exactly. Romero Jr. Ray Romero Jr. Jr. I need more champagne, yes. clearly, because it is time for that... Uh, there you go. Drink up. Sweet, up. sweet action in the uh, San Diego Brothers up all night. Our ring. Let's move Here we go, here are my boys. This is what we're talking about, hustle and muscle, baby. I'm gonna get on my feet. Oh yes, absolutely. Well, Halston, I know you're a big fan of them. Hustle and muscle, the team of Vinny Wasco and Alonzo Alvarez. I wonder what they're doing here. They're not part of the tournament tonight. Oh, oh I have an idea. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is the part of the show where you all shut your damn mouse. Oh! We have something to get off our chest tonight. Yeah, kiss each other. Shut up. <laughs> tonight is a very big night for up all night. Survive the night. A tournament for the wrestlers. But the fact that the two most gifted tournament wrestlers Santino Brothers has ever produced are excluded from the tournament Shut up, it's a slap in the face. It's dumb, Alonzo. But instead, they want to have people like Keita Murray, who's never even competed here in the tournament. They want to have people like Robbie Phoenix, that's only been here twice. Well, we've been in almost every up all night. But you know what? That doesn't matter. Because everyone here knows we're the true workhorses here. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, what? yes. What is this? Oh, yes, Halston. There he oh, is. Oh, no. Get the Febreze bottle. Gross. The ringworms now making their way to the ring. That's Rod Shit and Bodacious Baron Rotsa. Oh. Also not involved in the tournament, clearly taking umbrage with hustle and muscle. What do you think's gonna happen, Halston? I don't know, but I don't like the smell of this. Oh, oh. gross. Yeah, I definitely caught it catching a whiff of something over here. Are you guys done crying yet? They're not crying. Guess what? 
The ringworm's got a little present for everybody here tonight. We're here to smash you guys into the ground! Yeah. Hey, 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 no, wow. no, no, hold no, it. no, no. Hold it, hold it! No, no, no. You said we. He's got a broken shoulder, right? So who's we? My shoulder! Is this gonna be two on one? Because we'll gladly kick your ass. That yes. does sound like a good True. idea, but guess what? I got a dirty hobo riding the rails coming here tonight to Los Angeles from New Orleans. His name is Chuck Devine! What? Oh Wait my a minute. god! Wait a Holy minute! Holy cow! No, he's no. here! I didn't sign up for this. Don't look at me. I didn't. You, you have to work for this. You better beat them. He is here, Chuck Devine, from Louisiana. Wildcat Sports own Chuck Devine. Rob Shit was not kidding. He did bring a friend, and he is ready to scrap. Oh no! Listen. Wow. I, I have got to teach my boys a lesson in picking fights that they didn't ask for. This is not so. <laughs> what? Oh, oh there we, we go. go. Here Referee we go. Referee calls for the bell. Looks like we've got an impromptu tag team match here at Up All Night. It's going to be Hustle and Muscle versus the team of Rob Shit and Chuck Devine. Wasco now. Gaining the early advantage. Look at look at him. He is just a chunky individual. He's a big, a big chunky, muscular dude. Um, watch your words. Watch your words around my hustle, and hustle. I'm just, I'm just being honest. I'm just calling it like I said. Hey, 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 oh, hey, oh hey, my hey, god! Hey, hey. Rob shit. This exposing is exposing the behind. What is this? OnlyFans? What is happening here? Oh, Unacceptable. No. <laughs> Rob shit exposing the rear end of Vinny Wasco. And now a sliding baseball kick right to the shoulder. Somebody get some order in the wood. Referee Isaac Hayes, get this right match in some sort of order. What is happening? Oh, my God, Wasco. Oh, but clearly exposed now. Rob Shit just having his way. Oh, a huge knee to the gut. This is just out of control. I am not having it. Would somebody... Oh, Alonzo trying to come to save him. Oh, yeah, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't look. Oh, no. Alonzo going schnoz first right into the butt track of Vinny Wasco. Oh, literally making him smell the butt of Vinny Wasco. That's so gross. Your boys, yeah, these, your boys are hey, smelling ass right now. Let me tell you what. Let's get this match in order. Referee Isaac Hayes is not even paying attention. They're taking on. What are they doing to my boy Alonzo? Oh, what they're doing is a huge tag team back body drop. And now, hey, hey, get one, of, get him out of there. There you go. Oh, there's Thank a cover. you. Alonzo at one. Unbelievable. Out at oh. one. I don't know, Halston. Your boys, Hustle Muscle, taking a beating early. They've been embarrassed right within the first few minutes of the match. There's a tag. Rob Shit is in. Get, don't, get, get, that, get him away from our table. Gross. Halston's referring to Bodacious Baron, who just dropped off his flask on our commentary oh. desk. Bodacious. Bodacious is what he that's what he calls himself. Uh, I've got a few other words I can describe him. One of them is please take a shower. I swear to God. They are certainly unkempt. But now Chuck Devine. Oh. Beautiful leg drop right across the chest of Alonzo. And here's Parker, the color There we go. There we go. Come on. Help him out. Help your brother out. Oh, oh hey, 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 hey. Huge forearm knocks Rob shit off the apron. Wait, they're true. What is happening over here? He is drinking booze. I don't know what's going on down there, but I can see in the ring Alonzo now with a flurry of offense. Oh, huge elbow to the gut. The cover. One, two. There we go. Teach this divine boy a lesson. Don't mix in the matters of hustle and muscle. Bad idea. Hustle, there we go. Get that tag. What about hustle and muscle gives them the upper hand over guys that are scrappy? The guys that are going to literally take every inch like like the ring works. Alonzo Alvarez is the toughest, meanest SOB that I've met in my sparkling career. And Vinny oh. Wasco is hungry. Hungrier than anybody that I've ever come across. Between these two, they have a fire and an anger that... I mean, they will bulldoze you. I don't care how many times you can pull their pants down or play little games like these these stinky boys are playing. Well, your boy Wasco right now has got a great rear naked chin. 
block right now. Just choke him, Chuck right. Devine. Teaching him a lesson, learning him. You don't just waltz into Santino Brothers, get somebody like Hustle and Muscle in the ring, and think you can just play games with them. That's not how this works. Well, you're absolutely right, Halston. There's no games being played right now. Oh, oh, oh there we go. No fun, no fun in games with that huge chop from Vinny Wasco. Oh, Alonzo takes out Rod <laughs> Shit, and now huge shoulder oh, to the gut. That is what I'm talking about. I'm loving it. More, more of this, please. And there's more of a boot right in the mush of Chuck Devine. <laughs> now, let's see, but this is what's happening. I've seen this before on previous other nights. Alonzo getting mouthy with the referee. Getting mouthy with him. If he focuses too much on the ref admonishing him, they're not going to win this match. It's called strategy, my dear. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, there we go. For him in the face. Come on, Alonzo. Come on. You know, Alonzo's known for his mat game, but I gotta be honest, I've not seen a whole lot of mat wrestling right now from Alonzo Alvarez. He's had to deal with a newcomer like Chuck Devine. He's gotta figure him out in that ring, and the best way he can do is start doing exactly what you're seeing right there, baby. Cover. Oh. Kick out by Chuck Devine off the beautiful snap suplex by Alonzo Alvarez. No, you're absolutely right, Halston. Oh, there we go. Driving the knee right into the throat of Chuck Devine. Just absolutely ah. disrespectful. Oh, I love it. Ah. How can uh, you condone that? Uh, listen, I'm condoning a win. Let's talk about the big picture. Let's not talk about the specific star. Ah. It is a dirty tactic to drive your knee into someone's throat, driving the air out of it. Now, Wasco, I huge was, running splash in the corner. I almost wish I had a welcome card to give him from Hallmark. Welcome oh, to Santino on. Brothers, Chuck Devine. This is what you're going to get. Now, Wasco. Hey! Oh, the ringworms tried to grab his legs. He didn't quite get all of it. Wasco still able to hit the splash. It does look like, oh, it looks like he's favoring his ankle a little bit. Oh, there's a tag. Alonzo Alvarez is in after that fairly effective offense by Vinny Wasco. Here we go. Shoot him off. <laughs> Two for the price of one, baby. Double elbow. Wasco. Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Gets pulled out of the ring, and now Rob again. Shin. Oh, uh, Rob Shit just unloading. Oh my God. Rob Shit just tossed him into the bathroom right what? here. What is Rob he Shit doing? just locked hey. him in the bathroom here at the dojo. And the referee trying to get him out. Rob. What no. is Baron Rhodes doing? What is he doing up on that ring? Oh Why my God. is this? No! Oh. No, no, no. Just get the him ball. out of that ring. Why is he even up there? Baron Rhodes is supposed to be injured. Just a stiff forearm right in the mush, right in the face of Alonzo Alvarez. Look at this teamwork. Look at this unbelievable teamwork by the ringworms and Chuck Devine. That's that is not teamwork. That is just I can't even. I'm not gonna even say it because it'll offend the children at home. Let me tell you what. That is not what I expect. Hey, Vinny Wasco, get back oh, in there. Wasco able to escape the literal bathroom now. In to break up the pin. Oh now Wasco pissed off. Huge forearm to Rob. Shit. Vinny is angry. Get, Vinny is so get angry. Get them right back now. together. Get, come on, team. Oh, and Rob Shit gets double boot in the gut for his troubles. Wasco off the ropes. Oh! Oh, oh no, 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 no. That is not how I train the. Oh, my God. Come oh, on, no. Alonzo. Oh, my God. Get back up. Oh, my God. Wasco could have knocked out his partner. Alonzo Alvarez hasn't moved since that clothesline and Rob Shit now. Oh, Rob Shit with a mandible claw, it looks like. Rob Shit with a mandible claw with those hands that he hasn't watched no, since 2006. No, no, oh. Chuck Devine with a huge flatline face stunner. Huge flatline stunner by Chuck Devine. Will one of these two please come on, Hustle and Muscle? Do not embarrass me at the 12th episode here of Up All Night, not at the anniversary show. Well, Chuck Devine with a chicken wing DDT, beautiful, and Rob Shit dropping the dime with the elbow, the cover now, the two count, and three, that's it!
cerebral and bird brain about every single one of these matches. Oh, a little shove from Alonzo Alvarez. Hold on, writing something down here. Dear Ruby, let's talk about Birdman's attitude. Thank you. There we go. All right. Enough about that and enough about you. Let's talk more about what is about to happen. Are you ready for the next match? Oh, I'm so ready. I'm the most ready. Then you better tell them. Let's get into the action right now. Santina Brothers, up all night. The following contest is a non-tournament match scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. She calls herself the Mac Daddy, Milo Matters. Chihuahua, Mexico, representing Lucifer. She is one half of the red team. Alagrana Plata says. I am so excited for this match. Not only do we have a rookie sensation starting up, but let, let me explain to you. Milo matters. Matters so much to me because I have watched her grow here at Santino Brothers up all night and she has taken on some serious competition. Milo Matters is definitely one of the fastest rising superstars here in Santino Brothers and she's going to face someone who looks to make her stamp and become the next fast rising superstar. This is Alecrana Plata Cis. Oh, right off the bat, showing a little attitude, a little disrespect towards the high rising, the Mac Daddy Milo Matters. Let's get into the match. Milo Matters should be able to walk right over her opponent because she has taken on the lights of Robbie Phoenix. She has taken on somebody like Big Dick Haas. She has taken on the big boys here at Up All Night. However, she's she may not be used to the shenanigans that are happening here with uh, Alacrana. Alacrana just being scrappy, being cerebral, taking her time with Milo. I mean, Milo, if you remember in her debut match at Up All Night, she faced Don Kubrick, I believe. She did. I can't believe you said that name, but I'll forgive you. Uh, just just reporting the facts, Halston. I'm just telling what happened. And now what's oh. happening is Milo oh, with a there great we go. front flip off the ropes to escape that arm ringer, now into a side headlock on Alacrona Plante. Great, beautiful headlock takeover. To gain control now. Oh, I'm trying to fly to say something to the head scissors. Escape by Mac Daddy. Milo Matters and a kick to the gut. Yo, showing some strength, trying to feel each other out. Rookie match for her, and she's trying to trying to understand who she's got in that ring. It is Milo Matters and showing her she is tougher than she looks. She definitely looks pretty tough as it is. And now Alacrana with a great shoulder tackle right there. And Milo, huge hip toss. Answers the call. Here we go. Forearm in the face now, got her in the corner. Nice quarter roll, Milo Matters steps up. Oh, but Alacrana Plata not taking any of that. Milo counters the strike. And Milo, great Huracarana. Gaining the advantage early as Milo Matters. Giving her the Venice Beach business, baby. Oh, look at her, look at her surfing on her back right now. Look at that. Oh, great sent on by Milo Matters into the cover. One, two. Kick out by Alecrana Plata. Oh, wow. Milo means business. Let me tell you what, I have seen her punch and kick the big boys. She is not going to fool around after a while. It seems like fun and games at first, and then she gets into that high gear, and look how oh, oh. that might have taken some out of her tailbone, though. That's right, Milo was looking for that bulldog, didn't get it. Alecrana Plata now with just a kick to the face. Right? Oh, and now corner, now mounting her and just... Oh, hey, Brutality, that's the name of the game. Sounds like she's showing her uh, her cards right now. Oh, look, Rana Plata showing she's got a mean streak early now. Oh, <laughs> look at that, just oh. driving her whole body weight onto Milo Matters, crushing her larynx against the second rope. Not giving any sort of care. Here we go. 
huge forearm. If you can't breathe, you can't wrestle. It's I, just, it's just that, the truth. That is absolute scientific fact, I believe. <laughs> All the crown applause and whips Milo into the corner, and Milo with a boot to counter. Milo now looking for a clothesline. Oh. Counter that. Oh, oh. swinging oh. neck breaker from Alec Clano Plata into the cover, the two count. Kick out by Milo Matters. Not going to take that. She is down. tough. I'm telling you what, she is resilient. I have seen her taking some serious abuse, and she still somehow gets out of it. Let's see if she can get over the newcomer tonight. The newcomer aforementioned Alecrana Plata with a side headlock on Milo, just trying to wear her down, and Milo gets out of it. Ducks the clothesline. Milo Matters now isn't able to duck that stiff back elbow to the face. The cover. You know, real talk, if but, somebody had any reason to complain about not being in a tournament, it would be Milo Matter. She has been through the ringer, so to speak, here at Up All Night. I mean, if I were to, if, I'm not going to do Ruby job, Ruby, Ruby Ray's job for her, and I'm absolutely not going to tell her how to do her job, but I'll tell you what, if I had any say, I would have definitely put Milo as a contender in that tournament. Milo certainly would have been a fantastic participant had she been given the opportunity, but right now she has the opportunity to beat the ever-loving crap out of the newcomer, oh. Alacrana Plata, who just decks her with a great clothesline two count. Two. Only a two well, count so right there. I, but, I mean, let's, let's call it like it is. If Alacrana Plata say, gets the victory here, then your, all your points about Milo sh should have been in the tournament, it, that's null and void. It, maybe it's Alacrana Plata who should be... Who should be just fast and rising, she should be in the next one. Again, get to know me, I'm allowed to be wrong, and I'll tell you when I'm gonna be that way. But right now, I'm not gonna be wrong, because I have that, again, I have that money on Milo Matters, because I've seen what she does in that ring. Now Milo Matters with great escape and a forearm right to the face. Oh, and a knee right to the gut. Milo Matters now, flags in. Oh, rolls her up. Alecranta Blanda able to sneak out the back. Oh, Milo with a clothesline now, and Milo starting to build some momentum. Milo with a second clothesline. Milo firing up. Crowd is on her side. Oh, nice drunk toe hole. He may be giving her some of the energy she needs to get through the rest of this match, because I'm telling you what, she's got to take her down. He took her down with that drop kick. Here's the cover. Just a two count for Milo Matter. She's got to stay on her right now. This is the momentum that Milo needed. And now... Oh, look at Milo, the Mac Daddy, just driving her head right into the corner. Oh, there it is. Oh! <laughs> There's that running there bulldog. She's got to get that cover, though. She does. The count. Not enough. Alecrana Plata. Not enough to put her away. Milo Matters now lifts her back up. Oh, he's got her. She's got her, oh, she's got her hooked. This. Oh, wait a minute. Reversing it. Oh, calls for lights out. But Milo not going to let that happen. Some nice strikes right to the spine. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Alecrana Plata gets out of the way. Milo, boot right to the shoulder. Oh, gets caught oh. though. It's caught, perched right on the top rope now. Oh no. She oh! Up there. <laughs> oh, huge jump to the chest. Oh, that was brutal. Where is she going with this? This is a dangerous place to be for anyone, much less Milo Matters. Oh, this could be the end of it if she nails this one. Milo knows that. Trying Woo. not to let it happen. Is able to is able to shed her just for now. Oh, my God. Another stiff chop to the chest. He's got her hook. Perhaps looking for a superplex. But Milo again. Oh! <laughs> Huge headbutt. Oh, no, Milo. They're calling for it. They want her to... Climb all the way up. Let's see what she can do up here. Milo matters now. Oh, Trying no. to get to the top. Oh. oh, huge jumping uppercut by Alecrana Plata, who climbs to the rope again. Oh, my. Hooks the arm. She's got Milo matters hook. This could be really bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> Superflex rolls through. One more. Oh, Northern oh, Lights. Yeah. The cover. The two count. Oh, <laughs> Alecrana Plata says. What a combination. Still not enough to put Milo Matters away. She does not know what she's in for. I'm telling you what, this is why I have, I am behind someone like Milo Matters. Unbelievable resilience. What a combination there. Oh. And now, oh, looked like a, a modified front lush, Russian leg sweep of sorts. Now looking for that, looking for that camel clutch. That camel clutch submission. Just smashing her face right, let's just call it what it is. Smashing yep. her face right into the canvas.
Oh, oh no! What that is is a huge German by Milo Matters. Beautiful German suplex to escape that. Does she have the energy to get it done though? Can she finish her off? That's where she was before. Let's see if she can get the job done. Oh, another reversal. Alacrona Plata looking for another Northern Lights, but Milo Matters fighting back. Oh, uh, boot to the arm. Alacrona Plata looking for a neckbreaker perhaps, but now Milo Matters. Oh! oh! oh, 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 oh. Milo Matters. Oh. There Picks it is. up the victory. Here is your winner, Milo Matters. Huge, definitive victory by Milo Matters. But I gotta be honest, Alecrana Plata says with an impressive showing of her own. Impressive as it may be, Milo Matters once again showing everybody here at Santino Brothers up all night why she is a power force, why she is here. She's proving herself every time. Every Unbelievable once again, Milo Matters proving to everybody here at Santino Brothers up all night why she is here. I love her, and I'm 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 behind her 100%. No, absolutely fantastic showing from the Mac Daddy Milo Matters, proven why not only does she belong, but she's headed to the top of the mountain. Oh, very unbelievable! Impressive. I am so excited. Hello, mate. Ah, yeah. Ah, this, ah, no. Jesus, I can't. Wait. Ah. Greetings. It is I, Kai the Supreme, representing the Dominations. And you insolent worms may be wondering where I am, where my crusaders are for Santino Brothers Wrestling's Up All Night 12 Survive the Night Tournament. The answer is actually quite simple. Santino Brothers management deemed that our actions against your hero, Hyde, were too heinous, and thus they have forbidden myself Koto Hiro, Viva Van, and Manny Mars from not only participating in the tournament, but from even being in the building. And that's fine. Whatever excuse they need to prevent us from claiming what's rightfully ours. Regardless, I have only one message for whoever it is that wins the Survive the Night tournament. Prepare for domination. <laughs> I don't know what, again, why are we, uh, we're 12 episodes in and we're getting weird audio problems. Are we ever going to be able to fix that, Isaac? Let's get it together. But enough of those problems. Let's talk about the tournament. We are almost, we're here. We're here at the finals. It is about to happen. That tournament has been hot. This is why we are here at Santino Brothers. This is why we do up all night for this type of action for you viewers at home. So uh, I'm going to educate you as well as entertain you. We have a thing here at Santino Brothers up all night that we like to do, especially when it's the final match. And this is going to be a big one, folks. So let's get it together. It is time for Santino Brothers. Up all night. Last, Last call. call. The following is the finals of the Survive the Night Up All Night Tournament. Scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Beverly Hills, California. Weighing in at 255 pounds, Ray Romero Jr. His opponent from Pico Rivera, California, weighing in at 155 pounds, the Gravity Renegade, Lucas Riley. Well, I gotta be honest, Halston.
Austin, my, my beak has been flapping all night. My vocal cords are at an all-time shredded. I am so excited. I am so amped for this final match. We've got Lucas Riley, Ray Romero Jr. in the finals. Who is going to survive the night? This is going to be huge. This is going to be tough. Both of these competitors have taken a beating all night long. Let's see which one of them is going to last, outlast the other one, and make it to the final, make it to the top. That's right, that's right, there's the bell. We are underway in our finals matchup here at Up All Night. Fun fact, good man, by the way, this is a surprise to me. I don't even know what the prize is. I don't even know what the championship is. All I know is that somebody is gonna make it to the top and it's one of these two boys. Well, you're absolutely right, that makes two of us, Nelson. I have no idea what they win other than being the victor of the Survive the Night tournament, which in and of itself is a huge stamp. That's a huge feather in the cap. And now Ray Romero Jr. just driving his hands right into the mush of Lucas Riley. Right, doesn't matter how painful it is for his midsection to feel, Lucas Riley is feeling and looking aggressive no matter how much punishment he's taking. Oh, <laughs> strong words. Strong words from Ray Romero Jr. We gotta remember too, they've already competed in two matches tonight. This is match number three. Number three, Halston. No rest for the wicked or no rest for the champion. Which one of them is going to come up on top? Ray Romero Jr. just driving back. Strong lock of Lucas now. Gaining a little bit of leverage. Oh, great. <laughs> Lucha drag escape. That is the innovation once again. You're just in a simple lock of Lucas Riley pulling it out. Flipping him right over his head. Come on now. Oh, but Ray now. Ray just uncorking a couple of right hands right in the face of Lucas. Again, it's a size thing here. I mean, Ray Romero Jr., almost twice the physical size and girth of Lucas Riley. That is what the kids call thick. T-H-I-C-C. -C. Halston, you know more about you know more about the slang than I do. But I can tell you this, Ray Romero Jr., there is no slang needed when you're slinging your body back and forth, crushing Lucas Riley. He's got to punish those ribs. He's got to punish that midsection. He's got to take the air right out of Lucas Riley because he's been through two matches where that has been a factor. Let's see how much more his midsection can take. That's a really good point, Halston. We saw him favoring the ribs in that second round matchup, and now, and now Ray just, again, just laying in some strikes, tosses Lucas into the corner now, and again, just... Well, this is wildly, this is wildly again, and now Lucas go behind. Oh, and Lucas teeing off, unloading a couple of strikes, not taking it, sitting down. Lucas Riley opening Riley his back. eyes and seeing where those fists were flying. Oh, he goes back again. Lucas Riley with a machine gun level of strikes. That's the type of aggression you need to get through the giant bear that is Ray Romero Jr. Lucas Riley now with an integer right to the arm, countering that strike. Climbing to the top is Lucas Riley looking, looking to do some damage. The Gravity Renegade is perched up top, favoring those ribs, but still. Oh! Oh, Ray Romero Jr. catches the crossbody. <laughs> He's got him in position, but Lucas escapes out the back and now ducks the line. Lucas Riley. Beautiful head scissors. <laughs> Taking the big man down. Now he's just running for cover. Hopefully he can get some, get, get his druthers back after that big roll. Ooh. Lucas Riley with a flurry of strikes, a wonderful head scissors. Ray Romero Jr. now on the outside, and Lucas Riley. Think about like Lucas Riley, you cannot hide from him on the outside because he knows how to work that outside almost as, almost as good as he knows on the inside. Lucas Riley now, oh, looks like he was going for a hurricanrana. And now Ray Romero Jr.'s got him caught. Bad idea, unless you can, oh. With some strikes and now, oh, oh my God! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Lucas Riley, Lucas Riley was just power bombed under the apron by Ray Romero Jr. And we're talking about punishing that midsection. Oh, he just got a big old bend in the half of that ring right through his midsection. Let's see if he can recover. Oh, Ray Romero Jr. Smart, just rolling him right back in. Got to take advantage of him when he uh, can. Cover two count. Lucas Riley, I. Paulson, I don't know if if Lucas wants to continue wrestling past just this night. He he might need to think about just. I'm not I'm not saying he's gonna he should give up. I mean Lucas would never do that, but I mean Ray is just oh and a splash right to the ribs. The cover. Everybody, not just Ray Romero Jr., has been punishing that stomach with that that wall of muscle that is covering that stomach area. I'm telling you, I could. I can't, do you, ever, do you ever try to breathe when somebody's just standing on your stomach? That's probably what Lucas Riley is getting right now when he's just standing there. He just can't even breathe. Well, absolutely. Now, Ray Romero Jr. 
Looks like he's got the legs locked a little bit. I'm trying to stretch him nice out, trying to continue scissors. to punish him. Lucas just trying to trying to strike his way out of this on the huge tree trunk like legs of Ray Romero Jr. who now adjusts into a modified abdominal stretch just elbowing away at those ribs. Elbow after elbow, he's still on him. And, and I mean, the ref can't break this up. There's, there's nothing illegal about this. Oh, just brutal. The point of the elbow right to the sternum. It doesn't matter how many, how much muscle you've got. That is what we call knowing what you're doing in that ring. Because he knows. That is the opening. And that is, he's going to keep putting his finger in that wound. Try, trying to continue to wear him down until he can't breathe. Lucas Riley, he's got, this is exactly what he's got to do. He's got to use those long legs of his. He's got to chop down Ray Romero Jr. He's got to feed off the energy of the crowd who is clearly behind Lucas as they have been for the entire night. Lucas Riley now looking for something. Oh! oh, Another one right in that midsection, right where it counts. There's the cover. Two. Lucas still able to kick out even after that brutal gut buster. Knee right to the right to the gut, right to the stomach, driving all the air out of Lucas Riley. This crowd is not having any of Rare Romero Jr. right now. That cannot get into the head of the competitor. I gotta be honest, Lucas Riley looks worse for wear right now. I mean he's 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 barely he is barely standing. I mean he's he's flopping around like a fish because Ray's got his entire body weight just driving the air right out of him. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down for you. I only want honesty out of you. I don't I don't want lies. No, I, I'm calling it like it is, Halston. Ray Romero Jr. right now is absolutely decimating Lucas Riley. I, he cannot play around like that though. This is not the time, especially when you're in a finals match. You can't just fool around and play around in that ring. He's got to focus all of his energy and make sure he takes care of Lucas Riley once and for all. Well, went for another tilt or cup buster. Lucas able to able to escape out of it. Lucas with a couple of quick strikes. Ray staggered for a bit. Misses Wildly with the clothesline and Lucas with a nice kick right to the gut. Lucas Riley looking to fire up here. Oh, Lucas here we go. On the ropes looking for that stunner. Nope. Ray Romero Jr. counters and Lucas. Oh! Huge flying os cutter from Lucas Riley. Both men are down. You have got to pay attention to Lucas Riley just because he's not going to work one side of the ring on those ropes doesn't mean he's not going to get to two, three, or four. You've got to know that Lucas Riley is that innovative that he will find anywhere he can to jump off of. Oh, but look at Ray Romero Jr. finding the outside of the ring, just rolling out after that huge os cutter from Lucas Riley. The only place you can go when you're not even feeling where you're, you're he doesn't know what his head's screwed on straight right now so he just had to get some air but this is a dangerous place once again Lucas Riley sizing him up let's see if he can do it Lucas Riley now looking to take a chance oh. here huge suicide dive oh but Ray catches caught. him and just clobbers him in the face oh, oh my god no. oh, I gotta go for another oh, power no. on the apron Lucas Riley now trying to fight out of it able to fight him out again he's look he's got his feet on the apron that's huge Lucas now escapes Oh, huge front flip into the ropes and now Lucas a second one this one counts the bacon hero for Lucas Riley holy shit holy shit holy shit once more with feeling and this one hit it out of the park Ray Romero is really at this point the crowd absolutely loving it. They've loved every single match. They're loving this final matchup. Lucas Riley now off that huge dive, gaining a little bit of momentum now. This could be his chance. Come on, Lucas. Come on. Up to the top now, Lucas Riley. Double foot stop. Double foot stop. The cover. This could the be two it. count. And that is on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I could have sworn he would have had him. Lucas Riley with a wonderful, a impactful double foot stop right to the chest. Ray Romero Jr. looks like he's on Dream Street. This is his chance. This is his chance, Halston. He's got to. He's got to hit another huge move. He's probably concerned about making sure he can still breathe. Those that midsection is still no, no better, worse for wear. Good God. Yeah, they got called for the Spanish fly. Oh, oh but Ray just rolls him out. Huge oh. forearm by Ray Romero Jr. Setting him up perhaps for that power bomb that we saw win him that match earlier. And now, oh, went through, went through, through, grabs the legs, cover now. Lucas is just so a hair's close. count away from almost winning. Huge missile drop kick drives Ray Romero Jr. back into the corner. Look at Lucas, look at him, he's firing Sizing up right now. Him up. This could be it. Oh, jeez. Oh, Huge single leg Yakuza kick by Ray Romero Jr. Good grief. Oh, what? 
Good gravy, Marie. That was almost the three count. This is this is the wildest match I've seen in up all night history. Who is going to take it home? Oh my God, Ray Romero Jr. Looking. Oh, oh. oh, still working that midsection. It is torture at this point. Looks like a huge shoulder breaker. And now, wow, <laughs> Lucas Riley staying alive. Oh man. I I am so glad I brought a fan because I'm starting to sweat. I cannot believe this. I am I am sweating right there with you, Halston. Yeah, I'll give thank you some you. of that. Thank you. you know, my feathers are ruffled. <laughs> my beak is wet. This finals match is absolutely on fire. I'm going to give you the ass beat that you're fucking give, Jake. Oh! And now just toying with him. Just toying with him. Lucas, try and look at it. He's using him to climb up to get back to his feet. That's Sizing not a good him sign. Up and making sure he gets him in position to finish him off, perhaps. Here it goes. Oh! Looking, looking for the lawn dart. Didn't get it. Lucas escapes out the back. Lucas. Oh! Huge enziguri right to the ear. That's gonna that's gonna mess up your center of gravity now, Lucas. Off the second rope. Oh, Springboard! Good God. DDT! In a pile in the corner! Lucas is calling his shot like Babe Ruth calling for a home run. Is this going to happen? Here he goes. Looking for it. Off the ropes. Oh! oh man, he is... hits it. He hits it. Cutting 99. Cutting 99. Oh, the cover. The two count. The... Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought he two. had it. So close. Oh! Oh, it looked like the it looked like referee uh, it looked like the ref's hand came down for the three count, but it, it, he just got the shoulder up. Oh, I can't believe it! Unbelievable. Lucas Riley is beside himself, but he cannot allow Ray Romero Jr. to get that get that third win back. He's got to finish him. He's looking at it. Oh, he knows exactly where he's going. Lucas Riley now. He was, he was literally a heartbeat away from being the tournament champion. He's now climbing the ropes. Ray Romero Jr. doesn't even know where he's at right now. Oh no, Ray This could be it. No, oh, but wait oh. a minute. Goozles him, grabs him by the throat. Oh, oh my God. Oh. What a knee. Huge oh. knee. That was free rhinoplasty right there, let me tell you. Oh. oh. My God. Ray catches him. Lucas is going in oh. now. Oh, just a bear hug. Not in the place you need to be, Lucas Riley. That is the worst submission you can be in right now. Just a strong, mean bear hug grip by Ray Romero Jr. Sque if, if, if Ray wins this with a bear hug, I'm going to be, I will be shocked. Oh, look at Lucas now. Lucas not going to take that. Oh, oh, huge ear clap. Oh, oh and another one. That'll well, ring your bell. That's going to completely discombobulate Ray Romero Jr., who swings oh. wildly, misses with that clothesline. Lucas Riley now, looking for it. Oh! <laughs> he hit it! Orb of confusion! An orb of confusion, Lucas Riley! Can he get it? One, two, three! Is yeah! It? <laughs> Here is your winner of the Survive the Night Tournament! The Gravity Renegade, Lucas Riley! <laughs> what wow. a finale, what a finish to this tournament. Lucas <laughs> Riley showing everybody he is the king of Santino Brothers up all night after a, an entire year of grueling matches, of, of steps you had to take to make sure you can prove that you are the very best here at Up All Night. And look at him now, standing in the middle of that ring with wow. Lucas Riley trophy with the accolades. Wow. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal final match. Lucas Riley, he is the tournament champion. Look at him. Look Take at your him. photos now. Make sure you remember this moment. You are looking at one of the brightest Continued future superstars coming out of Santino Brothers up all night and the Wrestling Academy in general. Lucas Riley just put all of Southern California wrestling, all of all of the world of independent wrestling on notice with that amazing tournament win. It was what a night, what a night of action. Look, Lucas Riley now. Oh, oh it's so great. It's so it's so great to see someone who's fought so hard. He was scratched and clawed. He has earned his spot. He took his he took his chance. He won. And he and he earned it. He absolutely earned it, Halston. I'm I'm floored.
Birdman is floored. Bravo. What a win for Lucas Riley. He gets, he gets to celebrate, enjoy the weekend, and just revel in the work that he's done. And then he's going to have to ice up that midsection. Let me tell you what. There it is. Lucas Riley. Up all night 12. An absolute roaring success. Halston Body, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. Oh! Get out!